Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by Three Hues Painting Studio. Come paint, sip, and party at Three Hues. Visit our website today at threehueshouston.com. Houston Housewives of Finance. For more information on increasing your cash flow, becoming your own money manager, and to schedule your complimentary personal finance strategy, contact the Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at thesphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. Hey, everybody. It's Shy. And Kiki, and we are social chicks, and this is hashtag where we talk about all things social media, everything that's popular mm -hmm. on social media. We get together and chit chat, yeah, everything that's boombastic. I want to say, I told you I didn't like day. that word before. <laughs> she's like, it's a quit trying to make that work, uh, make, make <laughs> fetch happen, yeah, she's nice. trying to make fetch happen, boombastic, yes, no, so um, <laughs> you can watch all our episodes on the sphere.tv. Watch old, old mm -hmm. episodes. Yes, you can watch us on the sphere.tv. You can listen to us on Stitcher and SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. And you can also, if you like watching, watch us download the app at iTunes and mm -hmm. Google Play. Yep. You can follow us on all social media platforms at S O X I A L C H I X. That's for Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. and for Snapchat. Snapchat, yep. yes. And on Twitter, you can go. You, you, on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can yeah, follow us on Twitter, on Twitter at S-O-X-I-A-L underscore C-H-I-X and email us at S-O-X-I-A-L C-H-I-X at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. All of those places. And then you can also watch all of our episodes on thesphere.tv. I said that. You did? Yes, I did. I missed it. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got yes. it. You got it. Yes. No, but go for it. Say it a whole bunch of time. Thesphere.tv. You yeah. can watch us on there. Yeah, all our new episodes, old episodes, whatever. You can start from the beginning and go to, this is episode 34? Yeah. Yes. Right, Gary? Yeah. Absolutely. 34. So you can watch us all the way up. Absolutely. And yes. we've talked about some stuff, so. Yes, and we're just two dumb girls talking about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just two dumb girls just talking. Somebody let us talk, and we just and we ran. Yeah, and we haven't looked back since. Yeah, yeah. Never can shut up. Yeah. yeah. So we have a special guest in the building. She was actually on episode thirty-three, and we kind of kidnapped her. So again, we have Lauren Napier. Hi. Hey, Lauren. Happy to be back. Yes, we still people. And yes. so, um, we one still of my friends, we still <laughs> sisters, Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> <Love you now. laughs> yes, Nikki, Nikki. Yes. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, thank you for staying. Thank oh, you for I'm joining so us. Yes. We're going to talk, 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 and um, give our people your social media information so they can follow you. Follow me at laurennapier.com that's l-a-u-r-e-n-n-a-p-i-e-r and i am the founder of lauren napier beauty yes. cleanse by lauren napier flaunt by lauren napier yes. which can be found at laurennapier.com and net and netaporter.com net mm -hmm. for the uh global customer yeah. absolutely she's worldwide y'all yeah it's kind of a big deal know. yeah no yeah, it's, no. <laughs> no it's a big deal <laughs> what are you talking about? it is yeah it is but it's not but it yeah, is it is girl yeah it is. I don't care yes. if you're outside selling water. It's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, she's you're doing, doing her it. thing. Yes, you <laughs> can also on, girl. You are doing it. So yeah. So thanks for sticking around. Thank you. And first topic, go for it. Hashtag Donnell Rawlings. Who is Donnell Rawlings? Okay, if so yeah, for people who don't know, he's a comedian. Um, he's been around for a really long time. Mm -hmm. I think he's most popular for um, Ashy Black. Ashy Larry. Ashy Larry. Ashy Larry. Right? I said Ashy Black. <laughs> Somebody's name is Ashy Black. Um, crunchy black. 
from oh, Three Six Mafia. Black. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ashy. Okay. So Ashy Larry, um, Dave Chappelle show. You know, Dave Chappelle skit show, and he's a comedian. Like he gets shows. He, yeah, he books shows. Booked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's booked. Yeah, and so right now he's actually on tour with Dave Chappelle. Oh, he's definitely booked. Yeah, absolutely. It's a big deal, you know. And they are right now. Their tour has stopped in New York, and mm-hmm. I want to say maybe like five or six shows, something like that. And then yeah, they're Madison gonna Square Garden. Yeah, mm-hmm. big shows. Big shows. Are they talking about it there? Yeah, they about are. The it's a big deal. She mm-hmm. lives in New York. I'm a New York. Anybody that lives in New York, I'm like, they live in New York. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind Anybody? Of a big deal. Her name's Lauren. Yeah. She lives in New York. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> and I used to live there too. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and then they're like they're gonna do tours like, you know, around the country too, you know? Mm-hmm. So anyways, the other no the other day yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, um, there was this guy. His name is Thurston. And he decided that he wanted He's Thurston. A, it was it's the perfect name, actually. <laughs> and so he decided that he wanted to take a picture with um Dave Chappelle. According to Dave Chappelle and also Donnell, they were in the restroom. What? And so, yeah. Okay. And so the man approached him, p- approached them to take a picture. And they're like, N- nah, like not, <laughs> not right now, you know, like just chill. And so he leaves out of the restroom later on. They, they all are outside of the hotel. Um, and Thurston takes his camera out and holds it up as such. Boom. And I'm recording all of you guys now. I'm, I'm still going to get my picture. I don't care what it is. Like, I'm going to get my picture. So you can see Donnell Rawlings kind of standing toward the back in the white shirt. Yeah. And um, so someone asks him very politely, please do. We ask I you heard. not to record, you know. So mm-hmm. can you please put the camera down? And he gets irate. I can do whatever I want to do, you know. And you can't. It's, it's, you can't control me. It's a free country. Yeah. And so then altercation happens. So they're going back and forth and back and forth. Then all of a sudden the camera is. Rumble, on the ground, all around. Yeah, scraping. <laughs> I love the sound of concrete. Like, don't you love when you hear it's that? Like, you're like, something's going on. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> we don't know what it is. Look. We're busy, but yeah, we know that something's happening. So they're going back and forth. You can't touch me. Get your hands off me. And you can kind of hear hear Donnell's voice. You know, he has a really distinctive yes. voice. You can kind of hear scratchy, his voice. Yeah. yeah, you can kind of hear it in the background. But um, Thurston then puts the camera. He never dropped the camera. By the way, of it was he's not. thirsty. It was in his hand the whole time. Time. And so he lifts it back up and, you know, he says he has his hands on me. You see, this is assault. Oh, gosh. So he immediately. But claims. the whole time, who is this person that's uh, he's perpetrator? But who's fighting him? It wasn't Donnell. Not not from the video. I, I only saw a guy with a black and white uh, with polo shirt. shirt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was and it, it wasn't Donnell. Guard? Was it a bodyguard? Maybe or a friend. But it definitely wasn't Don- Donnell per the video. Mm-hmm. We didn't see him put his hands on him at all. Um, but he's the one that's wanted for questioning. They like to antagonize people. Because mm. right when you look, is, that's, a, that's not even Donnell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is no, what not. I call an attempted cash grab. Hmm. Absolutely. This is a cash grab. Mm-hmm. So what he wants is to antagonize somebody to the point where there is some sort of physical contact mm-hmm. so that he could go to court. Mm-hmm. And when somebody shouts, okay, let me preface this. <laughs> there are times where people have been assaulted, yeah. battered, all, anything along those lines. Mm-hmm. But there are other times where people are out there to make money. Mm-hmm. Like the person who jumped in front of Justin Bieber's SUV. That or the person crazy. who jumped in front of Kanye's fist. <laughs> Hello. Like, I mean, they did it on purpose. Yeah. And yeah. fell out on the ground. Yeah. Come on. Like, Everybody wants doing? their coin. Everybody wants their coin. I think that's thotty. Yeah. When people say such and such is a thought, mm-hmm. that's thotty to yeah, me. Yeah, for like, sure. Like, first of all, stay doing? out of the bathroom with grown mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. That's scary. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. No. It's a bathroom. It's a I don't even want to, like. What are you like? I'm peeing. Or, I want to talk to my niece wh- and nephew in the bathroom. They're yes. under my feet all the time. That's it's yeah, exactly. Weird. They're always at the door. You know, give me my privacy. It's Just weird. Yeah, so not a stranger to come talk to you in the. Toilet. Oh, I want to take a picture. Come out. And the thing about it is with celebrities, because, you know, I've met some people and I know a few people too that are celebrities they just want to sometimes hang out yeah they well, don't want to be asked to take a picture they mm-hmm. don't want and a lot of times the people i know they'll say it nice mm-hmm. they'll say well not right now mm-hmm. let me eat or not at all 
here's the yeah. thing <laughs> celebrities are people too Absolutely. and they have experiences uh they have you know bad things happen to them in the day mm-hmm. where they're not in a good mood they just happen to be at dinner with their friends Absolutely. and they want their time mm-hmm. they are not obligated to give you their time yeah. they are they are not obligated to entertain you 24 hours a day and so. it's nice that we mm-hmm. see them and maybe have a conversation mm-hmm. with them or maybe just say hello or give them a head nod. Mm-hmm. You don't have to have a picture. You don't have to invade somebody's yeah, personal yeah. space People or violate them like that. Yeah. People I mean, do it. We've seen it. Me and Kiki, we've seen it. We've been with people. And all of a sudden, people will be like, these people are eating. Yeah. Hey, you want to take a picture? No. It's no, like, no, I didn't ask no. you to take a picture. Right. And then they'll talk noise about that person. Mm-hmm. They'll say, well, oh, you know, you're being shitty or, mm-hmm. you know, say something about that. But I'm eating. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's people definitely there's there's a culture that we're experiencing right now where everybody wants to be famous. Mm-hmm. But I don't think people realize what comes along with that right? fame, with that level of of just like public persona Mm -hmm. with just being out in front Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no thanks yeah y'all i'm like y'all know what elon musk looks like no but he has all the money in the world i'll take it i will take my money and my coins and have my anonymity thank you and sit somewhere and just be so yeah comfortable Yeah. yeah but i will say that there are a lot of pictures it's not like they they're mean or they're rude like they weren't they didn't seem to be rude. no like during this comedy tour like once i hashtag you know like his name and dave Chappelle, they had pictures they, tons of people a lot of people took well pictures. here and yeah. that's the other thing uh are you taking pictures with them at a show outside of the venue where they're still on mm-hmm. if they were coming they out were the bathroom just, they probably were at a lounge or exactly. somewhere they're chilling on yeah. their own time they don't owe you their time if we need to respect that and move on mm-hmm. and that's i think that's what people being feel so like thirsty yeah thirsting yes thirsty. Day. Maybe mm-hmm. if you're a celebrity, it'll be a good idea to go to Three Hues. Ah, this portion of the show is sponsored by Three Hues. You won't get bothered there. Mm. So come paint, sip, and party at Three Hues. Join a party. Uh, what am I talking like that for? Join a party. <laughs> Join a party or book your own private event for kids or adults. Let Three Hues help you create your masterpiece on canvas step by step. A painting party is perfect for any occasion a church function, wedding showers, team building, Girl Scouts earning their badge date night, birthdays, or anytime you just want to have fun. Ask them about their summer camp programs, kids clubs, special events, and wine glass painting events. Did we mention that Three Hues is mobile too? Yes, you can go to the studio or they can come to you. Visit their website today, threehueshouston.com. Wine glass painting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. We know that Arissa would not allow people to be asking people to take pictures. Not take pictures and yes. no. Because we've had a party, that we had a private party there and we had fun and we're not celebrities, and <laughs> but I'm she treated us as such. Yeah, <laughs> she did. That's not all of our guests. She definitely treated Absolutely. us Absolutely, yeah. So comments. Please. Is this cornball serious? Clearly, he was provoking. Even after Donnell asked him not to film, and then on top of that, like when I was reading the comments, I think I was like on Baller Alert or something like that. He was in the comments. Alert. Oh wow, <laughs> he's thotty for real. Yeah. When I think of Baller Alert, I think of thoughts. It, well, he was there. sometimes I'm feeling a little thotty and I go in there and I look <laughs> in the comments and see like who's on the, you know, everybody feels like a little thought sometimes. Yeah, every now and, and again. The level of desperation is yeah. like the Sahara desert, like yeah. level yeah. of thirst. Yeah. Thirst no him. Super dry. Thirsting. But he's on Baller. Like, remember Baller Alert mm-hmm. used to be before social media was so popular? Baller Alert used to be the website you can go to and find out what like, all the ballers Yeah, are. uh-huh. So Thurston probably was on Baller Alert looking A to find out. Ago? Yeah, no, he was on the. Say? Mm-hmm. Huh? What did his, what did his comments say? It, I, I don't even remember, and I don't want to lie on Thurston. I did <laughs> click on his name, here. though, and I went to his page. His so many followers, probably. N- no. 900. <laughs> if that and 31 but i now would he say it's a lot now because well this. maybe now or maybe not he needs to make his uh, the smartest thing to do is make your page private now thirsting mm-hmm. and then everybody's going to be trying to find out and yeah gonna be is that what happens and, no but then when he accepts them it's boring like it's nothing going on he's but i will so... say like he's this kind of dude it was a video on his page and it was three girls and they were dancing on the couch at a club and I don't feel like he was with them, and he was recording them. Yep, oh, that sounds about corny. right. Corny. He's that kind of guy. Let me have fun. If I want to stand on a couch and dance, what are you doing with your camera? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm positive he wasn't with them. Thurston. Exactly. So that's what we're dealing with. Somebody's right. name is Thurston <clears throat> on TV. Thurston something Powell the Third. Who what? is that? Gilligan. Oh, <laughs> goodness, Gilligan's. 
thirsted. Hilarious. Someone else wow. says, first off, your fans are your bread and butter. With that being said, take a pic to get it over with. That's a person who has no idea what it's yeah. like to be outside of their own neighborhood. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you look at the video, Darnell is like, <laughs> looks like he's waiting. They're waiting for the car to pull yeah. up. Yeah. I do not look. Yeah, he's like towards the back. And yeah, because this guy that's behind him is not Darnell. Mm -hmm. He's really, really pushing it. Like he wants to get Dave Chappelle and Dar but he's gonna pick on Darnell because Darnell's been in trouble before. Yeah, from fighting, and they actually somebody was I doing see. something to him then. Yeah, they and it wasn't like his fault. Like he said, it was a racist. They said that some you know. Well, a racist threw a. a didn't they hit Dave Chappelle with a snowball or something like that? I heard that. Really? Yeah. Yes. He talks about it in his comedy show. He has some good spirits about it. Yeah, yeah he's not bothered. Yeah, he's funny. He's freaking Dave Chappelle. And then someone says, everybody is looking for a come up off of other people. Just work hard. And he does, like, he released um, photos of his, injury, of his injuries. How did they look? Oh, God. Was My daughter scratched? has had worse scratches. Mild abrasion. Oh, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> like, if I did, Mild like, abrasion. this. It may be the equivalent. It looked like like maybe you've he not scratched. That anybody maybe you walked past this. a textured wall, boom, and, and, and then slightly I slightly scratch. scraped your arm. No, he did like thin line between love and hate. He probably <laughs> like put the door, like got the refrigerator, got the orange <laughs> in the pantyhose and beat herself. Yeah, he probably did. Whatever, yeah, well, because I just didn't... think they just they really just roughed him up. That's all that was like. Yeah, it shake. was just shuffle. It was, I don't it was believe like he got shuffle. beat up. Well, here's the thing: if you antagonize. People got to get tough. Mm -hmm. I think that there's there's a like, you know, we're we're on the fence about people again assault, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sometimes you just deserve to get punched in the face. Wow! Um, <laughs> don't do nothing to get slapped, and you won't get slapped. Stay out of people's stay out of people's space. No. Give me fifty feet. Yeah, absolutely. Back, back, back. I think that shit used to be that so was bomb, the gym. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give me fifty feet. No, but that's true. We were kind of talking about that earlier. Yeah, it we did like, talk yeah. about it. like some people. I hate to say it, like. Not I, saying anybody deserves to get their butt, butt, butt beat or no, anything like but that. but back up. Yeah. They've, they've asked you nicely and respectfully. There's really no yeah, legitimate reason. Because I think it should up. be a law. Like, I always say, like, people should have personal space. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to be in the store and I'm using my ATM card and somebody's right here. Yeah. That's the weirdest thing ever. Like, get away. All the time. Like, okay, what are you doing? Can you please? And, like, now I don't even say anything. I just, just stop. Yeah. Well, oh, you know, oh, oh, that's the other me. thing is that people are so confrontational. You don't know how far the line is going to go. If you mm -hmm. ask someone to get out of your personal space, then they should do that respectfully. No, they're gonna and say, that oh, should I don't be that. know your information. Mm -hmm. Well, back up then. Yeah, I'm not saying that. I don't, I don't, I don't like people on my back. There, I mean, yeah, there's people are just nutty. Yeah, they're I just agree. nutty. I don't even like it when we go out to uh, like just to go out mm -hmm. and people have their phones and they do like this. I'm like, I don't know you. Why would you? I you don't know what I want. Like, right. I don't want people knowing I'm hanging out here. Exactly. <laughs> but I don't think people. It's a hole in the wall. They don't, under, they don't understand. <laughs> would you say, Kiki? That's hilarious. You don't want people to know. Yeah, I don't want anybody knowing. But like, maybe I don't want my business out there We're not there supposed like to that. be in town. Yeah. Not to know and all of a sudden, these people are like this. Yeah. And I'm like, Kiki, here they come with the phone. Yeah, and, and then like I can go on somebody well, goes Snapchat. People, I saw you. Yeah, there's no uh, separation between... One, having a good time without trying to document everything. Can you create a right. memory, a memory for yourself? Yeah. Like, what are these phones going to do believe to the in memory that, in the long and term? We both agree about that. Like, people have to take pictures everywhere mm -hmm. they go. Like, mm -hmm. they have to do, they like go to concerts. Like, we went to a concert, everybody had their phones up yeah, the whole time. It's like, why did you even come? You're no oh fine. You have goodness. your phone in the way. I can't you could have see. just watch this at home. Absolutely. Or the person, get one person to take this and then let them send it to you because why did you even come? Yeah. Everybody has their phone up. When we go out, people have their phones out. Everybody's texting. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing like anything on their phone, like everything on their phone. I'm it's like, Kiki, let's disconnect. just next time we hang out, let's not even have our phones out. Let's yeah. just hang out. Well, I'm a culprit of sometimes having my phone out because I have a business mm -hmm. and I'm the founder of a small business in anything. Mm -hmm. You're doing and your it's business global. though. And so when it's um, 1 a.m. here, it's 1 p.m. somewhere else. Uh -huh. Right. And, or any time in between. Mm -hmm. And so... But I, I don't have notifications on my phone. Good. So I'm not constantly being yeah. dragged into it. Mm -hmm. But I do check it periodically. Mm -hmm. And I mean, so sometimes you have to. I think that there's... But I also try to make sure that I enjoy myself and right. enjoy my people time. But anymore. I know that people don't. Mm -hmm. And also, it's like, 
yeah, I don't need to be in your shot. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing <laughs> has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and then another thing, like, I know you've seen on some people's uh, social media pages, which if this is something that they like to do, this is something that they like to do. Everywhere they go, they stop celebrities and take pictures with them. Mm -hmm. They'll go to like a concert and they'll wait till the end to be able to take a picture with somebody. It's like every show. Like we know you went. Mm -hmm. What like what are you trying to prove? Mm -hmm. I, well, there is because I, okay, I watched this. I think it was like 2020 or Nightline or something. But there are endorphins that are released, like the happy endorphins that you get when when you're seeking approval. Uh, so when you from who? From anyone, because people sometimes uh, generally want to seek approval from not Whoever. not from within. Mm -hmm. Like there's wow. not that confidence. It comes from mm -hmm. it's an external source of mm -hmm. happiness, right? And so people that take pictures, post pictures, wait for the likes, yeah, wait for In that approval. And, yeah, that is releasing those endorphins that create that feeling of happiness and oh, joy. Wow. So scary. it's really sad yeah. because people are sitting outside of concerts to take a picture yeah. only to post it yeah. and and have that feeling feel instead validated. of just ex experiencing a I moment. love leaving it as a mystery. Like, yeah, when I'm talking to somebody, yeah, I just went to such and such. Yeah. And well, okay. did you meet somebody? Did you? No, no, I went and had a good time. Yeah. And then they go under their pictures and they'll say, my friend, such and such. Yeah. Just hanging out with Diddy. No, no you I can tell you grabbed him. And he's off because he looks he's very, off. and then he looks uncomfortable. And he's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was about to walk. Maybe he just came out or of the bathroom. So I don't uncomfortable, know. like seriously, chopping it up, chopping hanging it. out with Idris Elba, and Idris is walking, and you're like this. Yeah. It's can I tell you guys head. a story? You yes. please go. So. <laughs> I used to work for, uh, I was doing makeup for a, a celebrity, let's mm -hmm. just say. I'll leave them nameless. Mm -hmm. But they invited us, m well, me and a guest, to a very exclusive party. Mm -hmm. And I decided to take my sister. Mm -hmm. And we went, and who did we get to have a full conversation with? Who? Oprah. I and who do we not have pictures of? Oprah. Uh -huh. You know why? Because we sat and had a conversation. A conversation. Absolutely. Exactly. We had a it albeit very short. Mm -hmm. so. But it was freaking but Oprah. Was I don't care Oprah. if Oprah said yeah. hi. How and you it doing? was a conversation. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I will have that memory and I will exactly. have that conversation forever. Exactly. And there's no like that's just that's yeah. just believe it or not in my care. brain. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't care. I don't care. There's either. other pictures of us from that party, mm -hmm. so you can tie it up and match it up if you yeah. choose to be Let so nosy. You, Lauren, I don't but even care to prove things to anybody. When you become a particular age, you're mm -hmm. just like, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Yeah, it's like, I don't care what anybody, like, I've met a whole bunch of people, and I'm not, like, I don't have right. one freaking picture of right. asking. And then the reason why they stay cool with you, because you're not asking, can you take a picture? Because yeah. they're like, shy is cool. She's mm -hmm. not bothered. Because mm -hmm. I'm not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the old people say, you put your drawers on one leg at a time. <laughs> Just like everybody else. Everybody <laughs> Just else. like everybody else. Did. What somebody said, if you, somebody said, I don't do that. Well, you don't wear drawers. <laughs> Yeah, y'all nasty. Magician. Yeah, you nasty. Uh, so doing? it's not it's not a big deal. Yeah. It's not. I'm not. If you don't want to believe me, don't that's believe fine. me. Well, yeah, don't. But people are people, and that's what that's like. Yeah, well, all why the way you didn't ask me to take a picture? Because I'm not corny. Uh, I'm somebody too. Yeah, there it wasn't go. necessary. You're somebody yeah. too. Yeah, are just we not all necessary. are. Absolutely. What was it with the t-shirt back in the day? I know I'm somebody because God don't make no trash. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that shirt. I never saw that. Must really? have been California. Yeah, it was a Cali May thing. I don't know. Maybe it was. A I've Cali never thing. heard Maybe of it was that on a before. God don't make trash. Uh -huh. I, I kind of like that because God don't make no trash. You, okay. should, you should make that shirt again and have it in the bag. God uh -huh. don't make no trash. Re-release it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'll Re be good. reclaim it. Hello. Hello. Never mind. But well, they might sue you. <laughs> yeah, but who? Whatever. Yeah, whatever. I like that. They didn't. We didn't have that here. Mm -mm. I don't recall. Really. Mm -mm. We just got the shirts where well, such and such went to such and such and got this. All they got is this lousy T-shirt. Remember that? I remember that. But what I really, <laughs> really remember was when you were in high school and you had your name and your friend's name spray painted mm -hmm. on your shirt. And That's then I remember, I remember buttons. You remember? You remember? You're from Texas too, I'm right? From Texas. The buttons, buttons. big buttons. I remember the yeah. big buttons. buttons with your what was it? Homecoming lace. Mm -hmm. Oh, those were. Um, 
what were those called? called moms moms yeah a boy buys you a mom you're everything but then no you a get mom. a no that was girl you know texas is you football. had to have like a lot of moms because i had yeah. like four mm -hmm. and then you get like the ribbons walk. will be on there your boyfriend's name on the ribbon if you're a cheerleader to have girl yes but <laughs> texas is <laughs> football so we sure. talk, we think right. football that's girl homecoming a and people deal. have moms and Shit, walking around with bells Shaking all day. All day, everybody's yeah, making noise. Like, such and such didn't get them up. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. I feel like my cousin Kim had a lot of them. Because I sure. feel like they were on and her I door. And I kept mine on my door. Yeah, you kept door. them on my door. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I kept Yeah, I didn't have mine on the year. door. I put mine on the wall. I had a wall full of moms. Yeah. And then you oh, go to somebody's house and you're like, oh, how many times did you go to home? <laughs> What's yeah, that well, boy's name? Who's definitely that? Definitely a thing. And then every some girls have the same boy's name. Oh, I don't know about that. Was so extra for high school. It was because then it was glitter. You put the glitter. The yeah. names will be put on there with glitter. Girl, high school was stupid. Oh, it was fabulous. Yeah, we're country. I didn't Texas like it, is, but yeah. yeah, fabulous, but. It wasn't as f fabulous as the Houston Housewives of Finance. And not about that change. <laughs> change is very fabulous. Did you know that only four states in the United States offer financial education? 33% or more than 77 million of Americans don't pay their bills on time. 39% of Americans carry credit card debt from month to month. And 39% of adults say they don't have enough savings. Don't become one of these statistics. Let Houston Housewives of Finance advise you on increasing your cash flow and becoming your own money manager by scaling scheduling your complimentary personal financial strategy. Contact Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463 or email us at info at Houston Housewives of Finance dot com. Ask us how you can participate in a complimentary financial literacy workshop near you. Houston Housewives of Finance are the new faces of the new age of financial services. Yay, Houston Housewives of Finance. Give me every time. Yeah, so that's Donnell. Okay, so next story. Another guy. Bootsy. <laughs> Bootsy. Hashtag Bootsy. Bootsy badass. I was just about to say the hashtag little Bootsy. Mm -hmm. Hashtag Bootsy badass. Mm -hmm. He's a rapper, if you don't know, from Louisiana. I think he's from Baton Rouge. Uh -huh. Yes, and he posted on social media mm -hmm. the other day. Um, you know how you post for your family members, friends, happy birthday. You post a picture of you with that person or just that person saying happy birthday. Mm -hmm. So he sent birthday wishes to his son who's turning 14 that actually turned 14. Mm -hmm. And so underneath there, he was like, happy birthday to my son. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we have like a picture. Yes. So mm -hmm. he says, happy G day. Number one, why is he saying G day to his son? <laughs> I don't like that, but okay. <laughs> So, Tootie Raw, love you, son. Oh, that's his son, Tootie Raw. Yeah, he's Aww. cute, though. He's a cute little uh, boy. Love you, son, with all my heart, Pops. And he says, see you tomorrow. Got a bag. If people don't know what a bag is, that's slang for money. Mm -hmm. Um, For you and a bad bitch to give you some head. You already know <sighs> how I do it, Tootie Raw. The mixtape dropping October 31st. Oh, good. So, people are going bananas. In a good way and some in a bad way. Mm. It should just be in a bad way. But people are just, you know, Instagram, Twitter, everybody's going crazy about yeah. this because he's saying not about the bag of money, not about G Day. Happy yeah. G Day because I didn't know his son was a G. Okay, but yeah, 14. I know nothing about his son. Yeah. Um, but the fact that he said that he was going to get his son some head for his birthday. Where's the mom? Did she comment? No. <laughs> I know. I don't think she would say. Or... I don't think she. Oh, who would say something? First, like she wouldn't probably say anything if she's being taken care of. Like, how is he still making money? Because I only again, I only Bootsy? know one song. Oh God, he has a fan base. Bootsy is a big deal. Yeah, like girl. he has oh, a here yeah, in the I've south. Been in been the in south, New York, you <laughs> New York too long. <laughs> Absolutely. Like when I used to live, I used to live in uh, South Florida. They are crazy. Like, if he comes to South Florida, people go crazy. Mm -hmm. Georgia, he's big. He's from Louisiana, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, people here in Houston, like, he has a big fan mm -hmm. base. Okay. Like, he was locked up and people were, like, free boots waiting. I remember that now. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then he, like, oh, almost waiting. died because he had cancer or something. Okay. Or, like, some people say the cancer. Already, uh, <laughs> some people say the cancer. The cancer. Because he yeah. already That's has, um, goodness gracious. He's sick as hell. Sick of cell. Yeah, yeah, he already has sick of cell. Like he's a big deal. Mm -hmm. What other songs does he have? I need a bad bitch. That's the That's one. Him? Bad bitch. Is it? Or is that the other boy? It is. I thought it's bad bitch. Okay. And I'm not. I, a fan. I'm not a fan. We <laughs> oh. both said. <laughs> I I know. Uh, like I said, 
<laughs> dance with your boo but right. wash my, my shoes. shoes yeah they play yeah in the club they'll put that on anytime. i mean but that one is like but he so has had a whole place big, yeah yeah anyways. like for me his voice is a little bit annoying because okay. it's uh, at first when i was uh when i first heard of him i thought it was a little kid because mm-hmm. he has like little kid voice hang on does he sing wipe me down why I think he's on the song with okay. Webby. He's Webby. It's like his uh, person that's on Webby the same. Band. Like they're good friends. Okay, maybe are they good friends? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I think uh, Booty is on the song. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, why he's got a oh, yeah. Why me? Yeah, down. yeah. He is on the song. Yeah. With, I'm thinking in the independent song. That's Webby. No, that's Webby. But yeah. this is the same group. This is the same crew of people. Same yeah. crew. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, okay, well, I'm a fan of that crew, but I'm not a fan of that behavior. <laughs> I'm not. I don't think I'm really a fan of that crew like that. Like some songs. I'm a fan so, of the songs. Yes. Yeah, some of the songs it's fun songs you can dance yeah yeah but let you could joke and dance those yeah. are the fun ones you can dance like you can put your hands on your knees and go boop 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 <laughs> or what's the way where does he say head shoulders hand, hand shoes right yeah what yeah is that? So yes hand. Hand. Halle Berry Halle Berry okay, yeah yes. mm-hmm. and either he had Halle Berry doing the dance when uh-huh. she did the dance at she was the, like yeah at Harvard yeah yeah she was like that yeah so you know, people are making a big deal, which they should. Yeah. Really, I don't know if they should because if people just make a big deal out of everything. Well, but that's obviously when you put your business out and your absolutely. thoughts out yeah. into the world is that people are going to make have have opinions yeah. about it. Yes. But so, I do have an opinion. Yes. So, but let me tell you guys this. After he did this and social media was going crazy, he did an interview with TMZ. Mm-hmm. He said that he was joking, which everybody, that's everybody's quickest thing to do is say, I was only joking. Mm-hmm. So he said that, let me just read you guys what he said. He said that um, he was joking, but effing is popular at 14 and they are in heat at that age. Ah. He said his son told him he has gotten head already. From who? And I don't know. I'm sorry. Go ahead. He said <laughs> and he wasn't going to get someone to do it for him. Because the way he was saying it is like, okay, number one, were you going to go get a grown lady yeah. to molest your son? He because you already know. So uh, has it happened before? He said he already knows. He never went in details. Or were you going to find a little girl to give your son? Now that's... Because that's still wrong. Statutory like, rape. Yeah, yes. like I'm going to... Hey, little girl, do you give head? You want to give head yes. to my son? You, you're the same age as my son. Why don't like, you come... Like, it's just wrong. Yeah, you can't fix it. Absolutely. Yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't fix it. You can't unring the bell. He said uh-uh. it was funny. Mm-hmm. I don't even want... I'm 38. I don't want my parents talking about me doing anything. Like, yeah. like don't get in my business Ew. about anything like no that. Thanks. I don't think they would. Like, but that's weird. It is. It's absolutely weird. It's disgusting. Are you getting head? Like, why are we even discussing that? And then for you to go even further and say, you know, he's got it on his own before. Why are you putting yeah, his he's business in, he, out there like that? I think it's popular at 14. Again, are you... um? having a discussion about birth control that's when and, and stds mm-hmm. because Protecting yourself you know the important stuff the important stuff yeah instead of it's popular it's popular it's they're popular. Heat at 14 because they're dogs well they're in there, heat. there's a lot of levels of just like real disgust right to mm-hmm. this it's yeah. gross it's poor parenting you have there. some real mm-hmm. messed up way of of thinking about women children your own son Mm -hmm. um there's a lot to to unpack there and he needs to figure himself out it's disgusting i mean i'm not giving him a pass or anything like that but some things that have come out of boosie's mouth like i'm not he's surprised you know he's really stupid i never was a fan but i was able to tolerate him before Mm -hmm. and now i'm like not really interested yeah oh, that's so sad because i wanted to you know it's like you want to like the song but now you know the person you can't like him anymore like r kelly oh yeah, i never you liked can't <laughs> like those songs anymore talked, we talked about him and i'm like never liked him i never liked him but i, I there was a moment where they ignition you know yeah, the remix. remix all yeah, of the well play people used to love it <laughs> well i used to be awesome TP2. because now seems TP2. like you're ready yeah. seems like a whole another thing yeah everything it, seems like it another seems thing like a whole Pied another Piper. Thing. Yeah. yeah a lot of stuff so it's gross weird. Mm-hmm. yeah so you can't like him anymore like chris brown i don't like him anymore either. really well he's a almost killed rihanna absolutely <laughs> so no i'm sorry you're gonna <laughs> yeah, choke like somebody to death do something but you know what? I wish that other races would be that way with their celebrities. They're not like that. 
we will be like Mm-mm. well ours are vilify on a on a more harsh level anyway mm-hmm. but who are we speaking of um i always bring up this charlie sheen yes mm-hmm. they are still crazy about charlie sheen yes mm-hmm. um and even before he came out as being an hiv positive man he was a man that was beating up women he yeah. was doing a whole bunch of stuff it's a Steve lot prostitutes. of people that have did different things we mm-hmm. can go on and on Arnold schwarzenegger when he uh effed his nanny and made a baby and, with oh baby everybody and lived at their house for yeah, yeah and then everybody yeah. was like they started like dogging out the woman because oh she's not attractive and yeah yeah his actual not, wife right no they no, they that dogged out the nanny because the nanny's oh, not oh, attractive oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. at all. Maria yeah. Shriver was a hot babe back in her day. Yeah, but she's still kind of hot. She yeah. got fabulous hair. Yeah, very they thick divorced, hair. Huh? Yeah, they're well, not together she, anymore. She got back with him. I thought. Oh, I hope not. I thought she didn't divorce. But it, I can go on and on yeah. in comparison. But we, like you said, we vilify. Like, oh, what? we I, are they vilified. Knew. They okay. We are vilified within our own community. But for some reason, we always re-embrace the person. Yeah. Like, think of Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah, he's beat up tons. Well, chicks. think about OJ. Yeah. Who brought him back? We didn't want him because he's not black. <laughs> he's OJ. No, they wanted okay. him back in 1997. <laughs> we were all, I remember where I, I was when the, verdict, when the verdict came out and all the people were on OJ's team. Mm-hmm. We were happy for us as black people. We were happy that OJ Simpson won because it was happy that a black man won something. We won something for once. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. I but get that. after that, mm-hmm. we were like, y'all going to have him back. Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody was because OJ said he wasn't black. When they said something, quit, quit saying I'm black. I'm OJ. Yeah. So well, that's what you are. You don't have to. We don't you know, We don't want you. Who else did they take? I'm trying to think. Who do we but take? I, I think that. I think that. Tiger Woods? Us, we're yeah, forgiving. We take, Tiger Woods don't want to be with us, forgiving. but we still are like, leave Tiger alone. Well, you need to be because when you get in trouble, guess what it says on your A report sheet? Men. Black. Black. It, it never say anything about Blasian, Blasian, want to be called black. Poblanesian. Yeah. Yeah, no. Peach <laughs> yeah, cobbler. Like peach enough. Poblanesian. Yeah. <laughs> Poblanesian. Yeah, no, but not. Nah. Black. Who else? <clears throat> but I think we are forgiving, though. I mean, we are forgiving. Like, we'll dog you out. We'll dog we'll you out and make fun. But sure. Yeah, we'll say, we'll, come on, Excuse come me. on home. Mm-hmm. Like family does. I'm still trying to think who is doing, who's in the other community. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know because I just. Let's I see just, if they get rid of Donald Trump. Oh, oh, gosh. they're they're gonna take him back. He's gonna get. I think after he's president, he's gonna be able to go back to doing Apprentice. They're gonna act like he never was president. This is all was. If we make it out alive. Oh my god! Let's not go. News, <laughs> exactly. I'm scared. If we make it out alive, because they so. want to bomb Guam. They said they're gonna do something to Guam. Bomb Guam. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, <laughs> it's just another thing just to have a war. And, you know, they can't impeach you if it's a war going on. Oh, that's well, what I read. Yeah. You can't well, do that because it's some. we don't have time for that. Yeah, you can say well, we don't have time for that. Yeah. Well, I'm not a constitutional scholar, no. but <laughs> I'm not sure if that uh, th- there will be other proceedings. I think that could happen. Absolutely. But this him. guy's going to make sure something happens so you, we can leave him alone. But nobody like oh, gosh. like Queen Maxine Waters, baby. She was Reclaim out of there. She and, and she's not alone. Him. Oh, it's so many and, people. Uh, right? I love that she's so vocal. Here, about can it. I say this right now, though, right here mm-hmm. uh, to our audience? I want to say that impeaching somebody is not the answer Mm -hmm. it's not the end all be all Mm -hmm. because to be impeached only means to be brought to trial Mm -hmm. bill clinton was Was impeached impeached during his pregnant pregnancy (laughs) and his pregnancy during (laughs) during his presidency and he finished the last two years we made it out of the 90s with a surplus Mm -hmm. because bill clinton was there even though he was impeached yeah Nixon, when everybody says Nixonian, Nixon, Nixon, Nixon resigned. He did. Mm-hmm. He was about he was to be it. impeached. Yeah. And he was so humiliated that he resigned and he bowed out, if you want to call it gracefully. gracefully. Yeah. He left. Uh, I don't know what this other Trump maniac is not going to do because he's like so prideful. And oh, stubborn. yeah. He has he to win. I have yeah. to win. I have to be number one. This is nobody's interested. His wife's not interested. His wife's definitely not interested. You know, in New York, they say she he's she's cheating. With she goes the, with someone with the man at Tiffany's. Yeah, her the security at Tiffany. 
Well, I I can mean, see why. I don't believe I don't push cheating, but she don't him. But she doesn't like him. She does and not. And she like didn't him. like him from day one. Yeah. She must have liked Look him at this at guy. least once. Yeah, she get it together, get get those coins, maybe start a business of some sort. I don't know if she has one, but if she does. The Home Shopping Network, Melania, <laughs> jewelry. A boom. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> if she wanted to, she can push that on the sphere. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you have a need to reach out to <laughs> I don't think possibly not. Want. <laughs> nope. Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue, coupled with your strategic ad, is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at area code 832-772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at the sphere.tv. <clears throat> yes. Excuse me. So comments. So. Okay. For Bootsy, the comments. I actually forgot I started wanting to talk about Trump. Yeah, we went. I we forgot went we were talking we about Bootsy. Crazy. I'm sorry because... <laughs> Okay, some of the comments. Someone said, "I hope he has. I uh, hope he was providing a condom." Well, there you That's go. That's what you were saying. Um, somebody said, "What's the problem?" Mm. I see What's tons. the freaking problem? <laughs> well, how were you raised? <laughs> and where? Yes, I saw I so many other comments. Problem. Comments were like, "Oh, my parents are horrible because they never offered that for me." That's stupid. Yeah, my dad's a horrible dad. That's like people were saying stupid. stupid stuff, and then someone just commented bad parenting mm-hmm. well that. that is the truth <clears throat> what's the quote my dear oh motivational quote you know how we yes. do it so it's really really short sweet and simple be specific in your prayer say that again be specific in your prayer so you're supposed to say god this is what i want <clears throat> yeah tell him exactly what you want and what you're looking for put that out there because i know that there have been times where um i have asked for something and it may come my way but it's not fully Kind of that happens. You're what right. I'm looking for, you know, be specific. And I mean, like, and this is just, this is very. I mean, out of this is low. What I'm gonna say, but say for it's instance, low. yeah, when I was, I didn't have any breasts. I was quite flat chested, <laughs> and I used to <laughs> want breasts so bad. God, please, 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 please. <laughs> I just want bigger breasts. And then I had a baby, and they came. Yeah. However, they hung low. So. <laughs> Maybe if I would have been specific, I want good ones. I want like big, good ones. You know, maybe it would have been breast. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I'm just making some sort of comparison, but I just think it's it's, that was TMI though. It was. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I wear bras. It's okay. And so, (laughs) but you just have to be specific in your prayer. Tell God exactly what you want, and I believe He'll give it to you. Oh, and so that was from Brooke Bailey's um, Instagram. Good and her God. Instagram name is Brooke Bailey Inc. Do you believe in that? Do I believe? Yeah, I believe. I, I, I do. I believe. Zats. Well, I mean, I definitely believe that you have to put what you want out there. So whatever you believe in and however you believe it, you definitely need to speak yeah. something into fruition mm-hmm. and be very. I specific. do think you need to be specific mm-hmm. in in your but you also have to, it needs to be specific. It should be definitely with purpose. And right. it doesn't just fall in your lap without action. Hmm. I agree. I, wow. I definitely agree. Because some people are like, I want a man. I want a man. I want a man. And yeah, then you get girl, a man. That's not what I wanted. Well, that's well you, what you said, said a, man. a man. Yeah, you got a man. but A also, piece of man. Yeah. 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 We don't want a it. Bobby V. We don't want last, it. Last episode. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> we don't want it. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> yes. Well, Lauren, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back. Yes. Thank you. And you're invited to come anytime. Anytime. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. I'll take you and up on that. Yes. <laughs> please do. <laughs> so I wanted to tell everybody to subscribe to all our major platforms. iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. Um, and also review our show on iTunes with constructive feedback. And donate to our mission to bring enriched and inspiring content each and every week. You can donate at www.thesphere.tv mm-hmm. forward slash donate. Mm-hmm. And you can watch 
old episodes at the sphere.tv, which I've said that, but I don't mind saying it over and over again. again. The sphere.tv. And I think Mm -hmm. that's forward slash hashtag to Mm -hmm. watch all the old episodes. Follow us on all social media platforms. That's Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram at S O X I A L C H I X. And on Twitter, S O X I A L underscore C H I X. And email us at S O X I A L. I oh god yeah <laughs> I'll take it boom Go. throw me the ball I'm into it <laughs> s o x i a l c h i x at gmail dot com and it is shy and Kiki and Lauren yes and we are social, social chicks. chicks bye. bye.